people. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O oh, Lord, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world and mercy on us. You who take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You who sit at the Father's right and have mercy on us, for only you are the Holy One, only you are the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, amen. Every day will I bless you, I will praise your name forever, to the ages of ages. Count us worthy, Lord, of passing this day without all. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Your name is praised and glorified. Forever, amen. Forgive us as a good loving God, granting us your worldly and heavenly blessings. We owe God your mercy to us and save us as we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever today and of ages. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you, teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, Lord, from one generation to the next. I cried out, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I will turn to you, O Lord, teach me to believe. Holy Mother, the Holy Glorious, and all honored apostles, St. Mark, the Evangelist, patron of our church, and the Holy Saints that we remember today and the fathers of the Ecumenical Council, the Seventh Ecumenical Council, Lucianos, the Martyr, Sabinos, the Bishop of Catarina, Barsus, the Confessor, and Ephemius, the New, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. The prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Holy, mighty, it is our God always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. May the Lord God your steps to every good work. May the Lord our God remember you both in his kingdom, always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among all. Holy God, holy Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Holy immortal, Standing in the temple, we feel as though in heaven will be also the heavenly gate open for us the door of your tender mercy. And the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Give the blessing. 
blessing. Blessed is the kingdom, ευλογημένη βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν, Κύριε Λέησον, υπέρ της αγώνωθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών, του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν, Κύριε Λέησον, υπέρ της ειρήνης του σύμπαντος κόσμου, ευσταθίας των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων ενώσεως, του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν, Υπέρ του Αγίου Ικου τούτου και των μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιόντων εν αυτό του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λέησο. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Alexius, for the honorable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president, for all in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy archdiocese, for this holy metropolis, for this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, Lord God, and glorious Lady, the Theodorus and ever Virgin Mary, with all for us the saints, let us commend ourselves and one us another and, those who pray with and our mercy. whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget that all his benefits through the intercessions of the Theotokos Savior, save us. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all. Tespres vi estis Theotokos sotesos Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save, save us, people, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by protect your grace. Your Lord have mercy. Come, Mary, most holy, pure, pure blessed, and glorious, Lord of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the 
dominion, the kingdom, and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise him as long as I have breath. Blessed whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord is God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord reigns unto the ages of ages. The God of Zion, from one generation to the next. O Lord, begotten Son and the Word of God, although immortal, you humbled yourself for our salvation. Take us blessed from the holy Theophilus and ever virgin Mary, and without change, becoming man. Christ our God. You were crucified, but conquered death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, Savior. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Come now, our most holy, pure, and blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life unto Christ our God. Good and loving God, and you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Master and Lord our God, you have established in heaven the order of hosts and angels and archangels to minister to your glory. Grant that your holy angels may enter with them and serve and glorify your goodness. Receive the glory out of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. From infernal depths and the darkness below did raise the dead. All the host of heaven's powers did proclaim hallelujah. O life giving Christ and our God, we give glory. So
fathers, for you are just in all you have done. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to Titus. Let us be attentive. Titus, my son, the saying is sure. I desire you to insist on these things, 
so that those who have believed in God may be careful to apply themselves to good deeds. These are excellent and profitable to men. But avoid stupid controversies, genealogies, dissensions, and quarrel over the law, for they are unprofitable and futile. As for a man who is factious, after admonishing him once or twice, have nothing more to do with him, knowing that such a person is perverted and sinful. He is self-condemned. When I sent Artemis and Titikos to you, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis, for I've decided to spend the winter there. Do your best to speed Zenos the lawyer and Apollos on their way. See that they lack nothing. And let our people learn to apply themselves to good deeds so as to help cases of urgent need and not to be unfruitful. All who are with me send greeting to you. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen. Irinisi, peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia. Master, who loves us, shine your eternal light in our hearts that we may better know you. Help us to fully understand your gospel message. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandment so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, God, the light of our souls and bodies, and you we give glory to the eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you. The Lord said this parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell along the path and was trodden underfoot, and the birds of the air devoured it. And some fell on the rock, and as it grew up, it withered away because it had no moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it, and some fell into good soil and grew and yielded a hundredfold. And when his disciples asked him what this parable meant, he said, to you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but for the others they are in parables so that seeing they may not see and hearing they may not understand. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. The ones along the path are those who have heard then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts that they may not believe and be saved. And the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. But these have no root. They believe for a while and in time of temptation fall away. And as for what fell among the thorns, they are those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not mature. And as for that in the good soil, they are those who, hearing the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bring forth fruit with patience. And as he said these things, he cried out, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Peace be with you, proclaims the gospel in all of you. Again, we bow before you, our loving God, and ask that you hear our prayer. Cleanse our souls and bodies from all defilement of flesh and spirit and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us so that they may always worship you with reverence and love. Partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation become worthy of your heavenly kingdom and grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. 
όπως είπα του κράτου σου, πάντοτε φιλαθωμένοι, σι δόξαν αναπέμπομεν, το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύματι, νυν και Αγί, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμή, let us pray the Lord. No one bound by worthy desires, with an approach, draw near, minister to you, the King of glory, to serve you as great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers, but because of your immeasurable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change, you stood as high priest as Lord of all, entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, and the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel, you alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil conscience. By the power of your Holy Spirit, enable me, whom endowed with the gift of the priesthood, to stand before your holy table and to celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. Do you, I come with bowed prayer and pray. Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, our God, are the offer and the offer, the one who receives and distributed. Into you, the glory of the eternal Father, and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Don't be the resurrection of Christ, the Lord, and the cross of Christ. We praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For you are a God we know no other than we call upon your name. Come on, faithful and venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For through the cross, joys come, the Lord have blood, no shall death by death. Have mercy in me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and in sin that my mother bare me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot on all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and hold me with the willing spirit. Then they shall teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. For you have no delight in sacrifice. Were I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. A sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer bullocks upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy upon me, O God. a sinner and save me. At the sound of the trumpet, the Lord. I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord.
Cuando ni mon ni si curios o ceos, en de vasili aftu pando te ninke ahi que sus eonas tone ono. Pe toți drepti mare tore lor, Creștin să va pomniașca Domnem lui, Dumnezeu, un truie împurasia sa, tu e de aia Ioana cum și rură și un veci, veci lor. Do Gospod, Bog spomiene, Svenacu carvo svoje, svada sada i uvek i u sve vekova. El Senor Dios te acuerde do nosotros, en su reino eternamente ora y siempre. Por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. May the Lord God remember all you in his kingdom, both now and forever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. May God be gracious and receive the kingdom, both now and forever, and ages and ages. The noble Joseph taking down your most pure and spotless body. It and I wrapped it with our, wrapped it in a new tomb. Then bullock shall be offered upon your altar and have mercy upon me, O God. May the Lord God remember you, the Akinites in his kingdom, always, Listen, now, and ever. Pray for me. The age of age. May the Holy Spirit come upon you. May the Most High overshadow you. May, so May the same Holy Spirit come celebrate with us all the days of our lives. Amen. 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 Protestant in me and Zoran to kill you, they for men. He bites why you we could do to get to meta piste or sebla be asked for what you is you under the nafto to kill you, they for men. Tu riste nei masa pe pasi slipsos, or ies kim dinu kia nangis, tu kiriu dei thomen. Ande le puson, soni le soni ak fiak soni masa teos, disi hariti. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Enable us to bring you gifts and spirits of sacrifice for our sins and for the sake of the angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian life that to our lives peaceful without and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Through the mercy 
praise of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Peace be with you another that with one mind we may confess the doors the doors in wisdom let us be attentive Together, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophet. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Anos commentas cardias, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Epharistis omentoi kiriu, let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right to sing you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, and to worship in all place of your dominion, for you are God ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all the things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, <laughs> Holy, holy, holy Lord Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna to God in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to God in the highest. Together with these blessed powers, merciful master, we also proclaim and say, you are holy and most holy. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. 
on the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure and blameless hands, and giving thanks, he blessed. He sanctified, he broke it, and he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Love it, the fire, the tutum westito soma, to a penny monkelomen and his office in a martion. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Beatex of two pandas, tutu estito emamo, to tis genis diathikis. To hyperimon ke polone kino menon is afes in amartion. Remembering, therefore, this command of the Savior and all the kingdom has for our sake. The cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming again. To esaik ton son si prosfero men kata panda ke di apanda. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. 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 Father, bless the holy cup. And that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both Changing holy gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. amen. So that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer the spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confess ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Exeretos tis panaia sacrando per vloimani sen doxu des pinisi monte otoku ke aima parthenu Maria. Constantine, also for the servants of God, Kiros, Kiriakos, George, Harry, Palalamos, Gus, Clara, the newly departed, and grant them rest, Lord, let the light of your countenance shine. So again, we ask, Lord, remember all the bishops who rightly teach the word in your truth, everyone in holy orders, who also offer the spiritual world for the holy Catholic and apostolic church, for those living in purity and holiness, and for all those in public service. Commit them, O oh Lord, to serve and govern in peace after the faithful conduct of their duties. We may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Above all, remember, Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country and the faithful who live in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, and the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches, and who care for the poor, and send your mercy upon us all. And we pray, O oh Lord, for those enduring religious persecution throughout the world. We pray, O oh Lord, for peace in the Middle East, for peace in Ukraine, for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors. We pray, O oh Lord, for those who are suffering for our shut-ins who cannot make it for just reason, 
for the servants of God, Marlene, Ivan, Ethan, Bo, John, Vasilios, Tula, Joshua, Vasiliki, Zoe, Elizabeth, Eleni, Bree, Tula, Theodora, Argiros, Sophia, Laddie, Tom, Alexander, and Marlene. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may praise and glorify your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, shall be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Before I offer a few comments on the what we believe, allow me to offer a few reminders that, of course, on this Wednesday, we will have divine liturgy for St. Luke the Evangelist at 9 a.m. Also, that evening at 6.30 p.m., we will have a new steward reception. So if you are a new steward to St. Mark, and we have many over the last two years, you may come and you may sign up on Realm, or you can call the office. Please come and meet our parish council, our philoptikos executives. Please meet all of those faithful who offer their best and leaders of our church. Also today, our Sunday church school will have meet the teachers, so we ask that our teachers go with their students to the classes, and that's indeed such a great blessing for us. And finally, allow me to announce that this is the last Sunday that there's the big discount for our Ochi Day celebration, so please sign up today. You can sign up either on Realm directly, go to the table, ask some questions. We're looking forward to a beautiful event. And also today, as you exit church, with the blessings of our Archbishop and the National Philoptikos, we're going to be making a collection for the wildfires in Greece, and we're hoping to collect money so that we can send over there to assist those who are in need. We thank our Philoptikos for taking the lead on this. If you think about the church, we talked about our pilgrimage a few last Sunday that many of us were on. And indeed, it was a blessing. And for the next two weeks, we're going to highlight two or three important aspects of that pilgrimage in what we believe so that you too can kind of walk where we walked. We were able to go to Constantinople, called the Queen City. Of course, that was the Byzantine Empire, which was the longest standing empire in the history of the world. And there was a time, of course, when it was flourishing in St. Sophia. And there was thousands and thousands. They say there was over 60 priests 40 deacons that would serve at the Divine Liturgy at St. Sophia. We know that there was a church there, Panagia Vlacherna. Panagia Vlacherna Church is located a few moments from the Fenar area, and it's a beautiful church. And it's actually a church that a miraculous event took place historically, and I want to share that with you today. And that, of course, was in the seventh century, the Avars were con going to try to conquer the city. They were coming in. All the time when you have a great empire, there were always times that people would come and they would try to overthrow it. So the Avars were coming in. I think it was uh, 620s, late 620s. And they were coming in. And they were starting to weaken the, the army, and they were starting to weaken the Constantinopolitan. So what they did was Patriarch Sergius at that time offered a prayer, and he called upon the Panagia icon, the icon of the Mother of God, just like the one up there, just like the ones we venerate in church, to be processed all throughout the city, the walls of the city in procession, in a litany. So this icon was processed throughout the city, and when it came around to the front back and to the front of the church, miraculously, the Avars were dispersed. There was a beautiful Panagia that was lit up in the skies that she was wearing all white. And thus, the white robes, you notice, Panagia doesn't wear white. She wears blue and red. And we've talked about why, but she was wearing white, and that was in the skies. And that was very symbolic, of course, that she was there to protect the city. And thus, they sang for the first time, Deep Ermajo, O Champion General, we your city inscribed to you. So the city was crying out and singing to the Mother of God to protect, and the Mother of God protected. So thus, that's why this is such an important church that we visited. But what's also interesting, as you go in there, and we all walked in, to the right of the altar, there's a beautiful um, Ayiasma, which is a holy water area. 
and of course is written in Greek, a palindrome that says, wash not only your faces, but your sins as well. And by the way, if a palindrome is, if you read it in Greek, the way it reads, it reads the exact same from left to right, from right to left. Wash not only your faces, but your sins as well. This is attributed to St. Gregory of Nazianzus. At the time, any time when you walk into a church, we're called to cleanse ourselves, ask for forgiveness of our sins, to cleanse us as we walk in. The priests in the morning actually read a beautiful prayer and we say, we wash your hands, O Lord, in innocence, and we wash our hands washing. But we always cleanse not only our hands or our faces, but we ask our Lord to cleanse our sins. And by doing that, we're preparing ourselves to enter into the kingdom of God, the divine liturgy, to enter into the Holy of Holies. That is a beautiful opportunity that we had to visit Panagia Vlacherna. So now on Friday nights during Lent, for those of us who went there, for those of us who are here today, when we sing Ti Permajo, a champion general, we can understand the reason and fully experience it. This is what we believe. May it be blessed in the Lord's name. Amen. All the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having accepted at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, May in, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. We entrust you, love and master, our whole life, hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat you, make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of our sins, forgiveness of our transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not in judgment or condemnation, and make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to dare to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Os en uranoi que epitizis, ton arten imon ton epiusion, dos imin simeron, que apes inindo a epelimeta imon, os que mis afimes o peletos imon, que mis enengis is mas espirasmon, ala dice mas apotu poneru. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. peace be with you all. To the Lord. To you, o Lord. Master, look down from heaven upon those of us who have bowed our heads before you. We have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and our bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only Lord begotten Christ, Son, with whom you are blessed, from the together with your all holy, you good, and life giving the Spirit, and now and Come forever and into the ages your of ages. Us by your mighty hand and through us to all your people. Let us be attentive, proscomen. 
Messiah, this is the holy gifts for the holy people of God. Break, Master. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken and not divided for every year. Master, fill the holy cup. Sanctify those who partake of them. Blessed is the firm of your saints, Blessed. always, now, and forever. And to the ages of ages, I mean, God, forgive me, sinner, and I'm mercy. My brothers, become celebrants. My brothers and sisters in Christ, forgive me, Mark, dear worthy priest. Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and our God, the precious, most holy body of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You mark him with the priest for their mission of sins and life eternal. Again, I approach Christ, our middle King and our God. The precious blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ is given to mark him with the priest for their mission of sins and life eternal. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. This has touched my lips. My sins are forgiven and my guilt is taken away. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is among us. Each week, each week in the Divine Liturgy, we, te- we hear two important scriptural lessons. The Gospel narrative, written by one of the four evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. These are accounts of Jesus' early life, His earthly ministry. We also read from the epistles, which the majority of these epistles, these letters, are written by St. Paul. They were directed to different areas or regions. St. Paul wrote letters to the Corinthians, the church of Corinth. He wrote letters to the Ephesians, to the church of Ephesus, for example. He also wrote prison letters while he was in prison. He also wrote letters to individuals, Timothy and to Titus. The epistles hold a profound significance in the Orthodox Christian Church as they serve as essential guides to Christian living, doctrine, and spiritual growth. These sacred letters offer valuable insights into the foundational teachings of the faith and the practical applications of that Christianity. In the Orthodox tradition, the epistles are not merely historical documents, very important, but they are living texts that continue to shape the beliefs and the practices of the faithful. You have heard me speak about the importance of a daily connection to our Lord Jesus Christ. A daily connection through prayer, a daily connection through fasting, a daily connection through reading or listening to Scripture. Ever so important in our spiritual lives. You see, this keeps us reminded, this keeps us connected and grounded in our journey toward theosis, becoming like God, not becoming God, but becoming like Christ, like God. The epistles also provide a vital connection to the apostolic era, linking today's Orthodox believers with the earliest Christian communities. Over the past two weeks when we were traveling to Ephesus, we drove by Corinth, we knew the different areas that St. Paul was writing these letters to. When you go down by the Acropolis and you see Mars Hill, that's where St. Paul preached perhaps one of his greatest sermons in the book of Acts. It came alive. They are a testament, these epistles, to the unbroken transmission of the apostolic faith through generations. Let that sink in, and I'm going to repeat it. They are a testament to the unbroken transmission of the apostolic faith through generations. Apostolic succession is that unbroken chain, that unbroken train when Christ ordained the disciples. They ordained bishops to oversee the churches. 
and also that was passed down today. The epistles address issues of faith, morality, worship, and Christian community life, offering timeless guidance that remains relevant to contemporary believers. St. John Chrysostom once said, the Christian life is not merely about faith and beliefs. It is equally about the transformation of our hearts and our actions. Good works are the fruits of true faith. As the Orthodox Church treasures its rich theological and liturgical heritage, the epistles play a crucial role in preserving the integrity of Orthodox doctrine and practice, reinforcing the Church's identity and mission in the world. They provide a solid foundation for the teachings of Christ and a source of inspiration, reflection, spiritual growth for all of us who seek to walk in the footsteps of the apostles and thus draw near, draw closer to God. Allow me to highlight just a few points from today's epistle. Titus, the third chapter, the apostle Paul instructs, this is a faithful saying, and these things I want you to affirm constantly, that those who have believed in God should be careful to maintain good works. It's a reminder that our faith is not passive, but should be actively expressed through acts of love and kindness to our fellow human beings. Our faith should not be hidden in our hearts, but should she manifest in our deeds. Our love, our compassion, our charity are the truest testimonies of that faith. Acts of mercy or kindness, almsgiving, looking outside of ourselves and serving our fellow human being. The epistle also encourages us to hold sound doctrine in turbulent times, focused and on course, but always interpreted by the church. We're easy to say, we should be talking about this in the church. We should be talking about that. Look what's going on in the world. We don't work like that as Orthodox Christians. We hold true, sound doctrine in our lives. We hold it and we live that out in our lives. And thus, those who come in contact with us will see Christ in us and thus the transformation takes place. St. Basil the Great of Caesarea in Cappadocia, where we were there just 10 days ago, offers insight. And he writes, sound doctrine is the compass by which we navigate the turbulent waters of life. We must be vigilant, protecting our faith. If we stay true to the teachings of our Lord, his apostles, we are able to remain true to him during difficulties and turbulent times. Focus, spiritual discipline. Focus and spiritual discipline helps us daily on this journey. In verse 9, St. Paul cautions us against foolish disputes, genealogies, contentions, and strivings about the law. These distractions can lead us away from the core message of Christ's love and salvation. He encourages us to discern what truly matters in life. In verse 14, we are reminded to learn to maintain good works for necessary uses. And again, St. Chrysostom reminds us, the needs of the poor, the sick, and the suffering are opportunities to manifest God's love in our deeds. And finally, in verse 15, it concludes with a plea, a plea from St. Paul. All who are with me greet you. Greet those who love us in the faith. This verse underscores the importance of Christian community, ecclesia, the body of Christ. We are not called to live out our faith in isolation, but within a loving and nurturing, supportive community of believers the body of Christ. St. Paul's letter to Titus was written for several reasons. Spiritual guidance, understanding spiritual disciplines. Church leadership, Paul provides Titus with guidelines on selecting and overseeing our church leaders, emphasizing the qualities of moral integrity and sound doctrine. It also was written for to correct false teaching, 
Paul instructs Titus on addressing these issues and maintain doctrinal purity within the congregation. It was also written for behavior and conduct. The letter contains practical advice on daily living. It emphasizes qualities like self-control, love, and good works. And finally, it was written to help those avoid controversy. Paul encouraged Titus to avoid quarrels and controversies that were unprofitable and divisive. He stressed the importance of, sound, of unity and sound doctrine. I think we can all, all of us, utilize these important teachings in our own lives. They are not just for people 2,000 years ago, but for us living today. The Orthodox Church has been called many a living tradition. The tradition does not mean that we hold on to things in the past and do not address issues today. A living tradition is listening to the Holy Spirit act now and work here in 2023 in South Florida, in Palm Beach County, in Boca Raton. That's how we listen, by God letting the Holy Spirit guide us in all we do. Let us live a life that combines faith with action, sound doctrine with unity, and good works with compassion. This is the heritage of our Orthodox tradition, and this is the path of being true disciples of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The only way to truly let this sink in, to truly understand, to truly learn about these great epistles is by opening up the Bible and reading them. So just as St. Paul at the end encouraged Titus, I'm encouraging you today, open up your Bible, Read one verse, one chapter. Read one of the Gospels. Read something that inspires you on a daily basis. If you are not one of those people who like to read, listen to it. I told you about it two months ago. Ancient Faith has a beautiful, beautiful reading of the Gospels that many of our faithful listen to. I do as well, the Epistle and the Gospels. Open it up and listen. The only way to truly transform and change your lives is by opening up your minds, your hearts, and your souls to learn, to grow, to walk toward our Lord God and Savior in discipline with askesis, spiritual discipline, walking to our Lord. May these epistles inspire us and guide us to use their teachings and strengthen our faith. You want to change the world? Change yourself. May it be blessed in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown. And make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal, amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as a thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near. Oh, mm -hmm.
That your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor cry out, the Lord hears them and rescues them from all the distress. Of our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the forgiveness of His sins and the forgiveness of His sins. The Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the forgiveness of His sins. Hallelujah. 
the servant of God, Callie, receives those precious blessings. Save, O oh God, your people, and bless your inheritance. Sos na theos and lansu, kevrois on tinkri ronomiansu. We have seen the true Lord, we have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided trinity. The trinity. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, myrtle, heavenly life, cross, and mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, we thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries, your precious body and blood. Direct our ways in the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavor safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the entire body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them in return by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces stationed throughout the world and to all your people. Every good and perfect gift comes from you from above, the Father of lights. And to you we offer glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, O thou unto the ages. Torno makiri ui, ebo imano, apotuni, keos tu eolo. We pause and offer memorial prayers, a plethora of memorials today praying for those who have passed on, and I will read them a 40-day memorial for Kitsa Dizoglu, a 40-day memorial for George Cheverson, a 40-day memorial for Urania Hian, a one-year memorial for Dean Niamos, a one-year memorial for Theodore Constantino, a one-year memorial for Voika Voiku, a six-month memorial for Rodika Tanesescu, a memorial prayers for John Stavrudakis, a three-year memorial for George Christakis, a 14-year memorial for Gerasimos Drake, a 24-year memorial 
for Dimitra the Presidera, Lefteris, and Constantine the Priest, Lefteris, a 30 year, a 25 year for Vasilia Drake, a 32 year for Emerald Christakis. We pray, our Lord, that they will be accepted their souls in our Lord's eternal kingdom. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, grant rest to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Si o Theo Simono catavasis avin, ketas o dinas lisas, ton pepe di menon, aftos, ketas fijas on zulon su, so terran apaso. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Only pure and immaculate virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God. Pray for the salvation of the souls of your servants. With the saints give rest, we pray, O Christ, to the souls of your servants, where there is no more pain, sorrow, suffering, but life everlasting. O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants, Kitsa, Yorje, Urania, Dean, Theodore, Voika, Rodika, John, George, Emerald, Yerasimus, Vasilia, our brother and colleague, Stila Bray, Constantine, the priest, Dimitra Presbytera, Jonathan and Clara, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ, our mortal King and God. Please, o Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trample upon death and abolish the power of the devil and given life to your world, give rest, O Lord, to your servants. Kitsa, Yorje, Urania, Dean, Theodore, Voika, Rodika, John, George, Emerald, Yerasimos, Vasilia, Constantine the priest, our brother and concelebrant, Dimitra Presbytera, Jonathan and Clara, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment, where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering as a good and loving God. Forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word or deed or thought. For there is no person who lives and does not sin except for you, the only sinless one. 
Your righteousness is eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. Let us pray to the Lord. For you, O Christ, our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the rest of your departed servants, those commemorated who have fallen asleep. And to you we give glory with your eternal Father in your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. <coughs> upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead as a good, loving, and merciful God, have mercy on us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praise of the apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, our holy and God-bearing fathers, of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of the holy and right sons of God, Joachim and of St. Savinas and St. Lucianos, whose memory we commemorate today, and of all your saints, the of Contuna Iun Paterni Mon, Kyrie Su Christe, Theo, Soleis, and Kesos, and Imas, to the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity protect keep all of you. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome you, all of our visitors today. Join us in the fellowship hour for the liturgy after the liturgy. And may our Lord's blessings be upon you always. Amen. <laughs>